Hi, shalom, shalom, shalom. Yes, and uh, this is also something very perfect and very wonderful for us to think about. Yeah, something perfect and very wonderful for us to think about. Yeah, why did God create things that can be acted upon and things that act upon? In other words, in science they say living things and non living things. Why did God actually create those things? There is always a purpose as to what, why he did that. Yeah? You see, there is always a purpose. Each and every one of us, each and every one of us, in one way or the other, we will depend on some things. Yeah? We will depend on an unliving thing. Like for our survival, we depend on land. Yeah? And that land produces living things, produces food and all that stuff. So don't take everything for granted in this world. Don't take everything for granted because everything you see, it is for the benefit of yourself. And that is why Wangari Mathai once said, once said that if we try to destroy nature, nature will destroy us. Reason being that God knew why. Because all these things we see, they are of our benefit. And it is upon our initiative to ensure that we take care of everything. Take care of environment around you. Take care of environment around you. Because it is your responsibility. Eh? Don't just be careless. Eh? Don't just be careless in everything, but be a good citizen. And being a good citizen is one thing is that you take good care of your surrounding, your environment. Don't cut trees anyhow. Eh? Don't just dig things anyhow. But be a responsible person that God requires of you. He created this cosmos for you to take care of it. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. And I hope as you live, you will take good care of the environment and be good citizens in the area. Otherwise, thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Shalom. Shalom. Peace.